Hey there guys, what's up? What's going on? It is AutobotMike18 here, back with another random vlog. That's right guys, this is going to be my 14th random vlog in my random vlog movie uh, video series. Uh, I've started this back in September and I'm all the way in July now and I'm doing my 14th random vlog because these are fun and I've got a lot a lot of updates and a lot of content for you in one video so I tend to just put it all on a random vlog because it's a lot and yeah so they're like vlogs and discussions and videos all in one all for you guys so guys um I have a lot to cover in this video I will just go through a brief rundown of everything I have to do for this random vlog. I have to give shout outs to everybody who commented on my last random vlog, random vlog 13, who left comments uh, for that one. I am going to give you guys, or show you guys what I got for my birthday. My birthday was actually yesterday. Um, it was the 2nd of July and I got a couple things from, from family and I want to show you guys everything that I got. I'm um, excited to show you guys a couple things. Got some movies, got some movie related items so I can't wait to share with you guys what I got. And then I have a little channel update because I'm not going to be present on YouTube for another week. Um, I know I was inactive for a whole week in June. It's going to happen again for July because I'm going away on a family vacation for a week as I normally do. So I will not be active on YouTube, but I will make this known towards the end of the video. I will not be active on YouTube from the uh, July 5th, which is a Tuesday, all the way to July 12th, which is the following Tuesday. That whole week I will not be uh, uploading any videos. I will be shooting a video while I'm away for you guys, another random vlog. The follow up to this video, Random Blog 15, because I want to do it in a different location, but um, I am not going to be uploading anything during the time, so I just wanted to make that clear, but I'll talk about that towards the end, but I'm just making that known now. So guys, getting into this Random Vlog 13, let's get right to it. I got eight comments, uh, eight people to give shout outs to, and I have one other person to give a shout out to, a good buddy of mine on Instagram, which I will give him a shout out shortly. What I want to do right now is give shout outs to everybody who left a comment on random vlog number 13. Now guys, random vlog 13, I posted that um, on June 9th. It was right before I took that other one week break. And the questions that I asked, or I asked one question, um, because right around that time, Finding Dory was about to come out. So I was excited for that. Um, but I asked, what is the one movie from your childhood that left such a big impact on your life? Could be animated, live action, or anything, but it has to be the first movie that was special to you, and you then, or gradually realized how special it was. So I asked that question, and I got a couple of people who commented, so I'd like to quickly just give them shout-outs. First up, we got Sahil Kapur, very good um, uh, subscriber of mine, said that Spider-Man 1 was his first uh, movie. That was my. That was the first movie I ever saw in a theater, actually, man. So thank you for bringing that up. I've mentioned that before. That wasn't the first movie that like spoke to me, like, oh, I love movies. That probably was Finding Door, uh, Finding Nemo for me. Um, uh, so he said this is the first super superhero movie I ever saw. I was blown away. I same for me. Um, his movie poster of it, and he says after seeing Deadpool, he cannot wait for the crossover between these characters and Civil War. I absolutely agree. Um, I can't wait to do that. Uh, I can't wait for that. Uh, if that does happen, if, yeah, they should do that. Um, then we had awesome anime fan, Ghost Hunter 624, say, Deadpool, I'm no, just kidding, good question. Yes, the movie is pretty touching. Sadly, I did not really see it till I was older. The movie, I would say, is, uh, the first Iron Man movie, because I watched it a lot as a kid. That was another movie that I also enjoyed, uh, when I was... I don't know, I was probably about 11 when the first Iron Man came out back in 2008, probably about 11 or 12, um, and that movie was definitely a, definitely a good pick. James Long said the Lord of the Rings trilogy is roughly around 9 hours combined, thanks James Long. I, uh, he said Ang Lee's Hulk was garbage, I was talking about that in that video. Um, uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy, oh he brought that up because I brought up the trilogy in that video, but the movie that he cherished was Old Yeller. Uh, have always been a dog lover and Old Yeller was the first movie to make him cry. That's impressive. I've had that happen to me too. I've cherished movies that have touched me down there. One of them's hanging up right on my wall over there, Fruitvale Station. Um, 
So yeah, easily one of the saddest movies ever, he said. And then I had another Spider-Man answer for the first Sam Raimi's first Spider-Man movie. BJC um, said Spider-Man 2002, my favorite superhero movie of all time. I watched it multiple times when I was a child and still watch it multiple times to this very day. It's one of those movies that never gets boring. It's a shining example of how superhero movies got to where they were today. Good example. Um, 0208, thank you, BJC. Uh, 0208, Tony Ut. Tony Two, I'm probably butchering that. He has a picture of Spider-Man. I'm sorry. He just said cool video though, so there you have it. Uh, Ivana Stojik, Stojik, I'm butchering that as well. Rocky and Braveheart. Uh, they said Rocky and Braveheart. Uh, Rocky is great. I have not seen Braveheart actually. Um, WAW one o one five or Wall one o one five. Uh, said it was James Cameron's Titanic. Uh, he wrote a long blurb. I'll, I'll skim through it. It's one of those few movies he got emotional to. I probably cried during that movie the first time I saw it as well. I watched that very young. Uh, watched it numerous times. VHS, DVD, Blu-ray. He owns it. Uh, he praised the brilliance of the production values and visual effects. He loves everything from the story, the set design, costume sets, practical visual effects, uh, recreation of the ship and everything, the love story, the chemistry, the acting... Uh, discussions between the officers and crewmen, uh, before and after the singing, heartbreaking moments, the tension, James Horner's score, Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. He gave a boatload of reasons. Thank you, man, for going really in-depth on why you loved that movie. I really appreciate that. I love whenever somebody just really goes all out and explains why a movie is one of their favorites and why it affected them. And for that question, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Parker Smichael. Uh, last person who commented said, nice job on the vlog, Mike. And uh, the movie that inspired me to get into filmmaking started my love and passion for film is Lord of the Rings Trilogy. I know it's a trilogy, but it counts as one giant movie. You're not the only one. A lot of people do that, actually. Um, Lord of the Rings Trilogy, my favorite movie of all time. I read J.R.R. Tolkien's books and writings. And, of course, I love the Hobbit movies. So, as you can tell, I love Middle Earth and everything about it. And I always will. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. So, thank you to everybody who left a comment on that video. I really appreciate it. And I have one other person to give a shout out to, a good buddy of mine on Instagram who is always messaging me and commenting on my Instagram posts and always com uh, sending me messages asking me questions. I really appreciate it. Um, and his name on Instagram is manager underscore Hosey. Um, I want to give him a big shout out. Thank you so much, dude, for always um, sending me messages and asking me questions and getting me engaged in, in talking about movies and stuff like that and asking me about movies and everything. I really, really appreciate it. Um, he's a really cool guy and I thank you so much. Manager underscore Hosey on Instagram. Um, there you have it. I did not forget to give you a shout out. I kept that in my head for the last couple weeks. He asked for one and if you ask, I will, you shall receive. So there you have it. Those are shout outs from last vlog. We're eight minutes in and I haven't even showed you guys what I got for my birthday. So guys, my birthday was yesterday. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a summer birthday because it's awesome. It's the best. And I got a couple of gifts from family and from my girlfriend that I would like to share with you guys because they are very movie related. And because of that, it, I talk about movies on this channel. Why am I not going to show you guys these things? So I got five Blu-rays. Uh, from family and I'm gonna get into them now um, you know what I'll save that for the end I'll save the I'll do the ones without the slip covers first I got five of them first one up is a movie that I love so much and I I've just been putting it off and I haven't bought it and I finally got it for my birthday uh, and it was 21 Jump Street uh, this is one of my favorite comedies I seriously love this movie um, and I was thinking about it actually recently I was at work at a, a wedding and the song Party Rock was playing at the wedding. I was working at a wedding. I'm, I'm working with this photography company now. And the song Party Rock was playing. And it was a, a Party Rock anthem from 21 Jump Street. And I remember that scene from the movie where they played the song. And I was just thinking about this movie so much. And I was really glad to get this movie. It's a great comedy. It's amazing. Uh, so that was the uh, first thing I uh, got. The second movie I got on Blu-ray. And that's the only one of these movies that I've seen. 
So uh, that's pretty cool. I got a lot of movies that I have to watch out of all of these. A lot of you guys are going to be happy that a lot of these movies I got, I have not seen and finally will see now that I own them. Uh, next up is Blue Valentine. This is uh, Derek Sianfrance's movie that he made before Place Beyond the Pines. I hear crazy things about this movie. Uh, I hear Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams are great, but I hear it is not your typical like love story like it says like it's it's pretty messed up and and fucked up so i'm looking forward to watching it i hear really great things about uh blue valentine so i'm excited for that uh, another blu-ray that i got is a movie so many of you have told me to watch i'm so glad i finally own this damn thing i am finally going to watch it over the summer uh, the director of this movie is one of my favorite directors, uh, and I've only seen five of his movies, and he's got a giant filmography. This is one of the ones I absolutely can't wait to watch, and that is Raging Bull. I know, I know, don't kill me, but I have not seen Raging Bull yet. I will be watching it this summer and doing an old movie review for it. I guarantee you guys I will. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm sorry for the fact that I have not yet seen this movie, but I will get a chance to watch it shortly. This is a, like a Blu-ray DVD combo. I'm really pumped to watch this one, though. I hear nothing but amazing things about it. Uh, so that's uh, Raging Bull. Then I have two movies with slipcovers, and they're both part of that old series from Universal that they released in 2012. They released a bunch of like really popular movies for their 100th anniversary series. Um, they were celebrating 100 years, and they released a lot of these movies in Blu-ray combo packs with digital copies, and I got two of these from this series. First one up is The Big Lebowski from the Coen Brothers. I also have not seen this movie. I know, everybody says it's one of the funniest movies ever, and it's probably the Coen's best. A lot of people love this one, and I'm so excited that I finally own this and I can finally watch it. I love this uh, Universal 100th Anniversary series because um, it has like a Velcro strap, and it um, flips open. And it gives you like a bunch of uh, stills from the movie, facts about the making of the movie, and even a timeline of other Universal films that were released like in the last like year or so. Um, it gives you an idea of Universal in 1998 when Big Lebowski came out. I think this is really freaking cool. I love this series that Universal did. So I'm very excited to sit down and watch The Big Lebowski, of course. Uh, looking forward to that. And finally, the last Blu-ray I got is another Universal 100th Anniversary Edition uh, release. This is another movie I haven't seen and have wanted to buy for so long, but it was just expensive and I just kept putting it off. I uh, just love the idea of this movie and I, I, it's one of those movies, it's, it's a historical movie, so you know the outcome. It's based on uh, the 9-11 attacks, so I know the outcome of it, but the movie I did get was United 93, another Universal 100th Anniversary uh, release. And I'm excited to watch this one as well. It's from Paul Greengrass is directing this. And he's actually, I should do this for an old movie review coming up soon because he's directing Jason Bourne, uh, the new Jason Bourne movie coming out in July. Speaking of which, I am going to be reviewing the Bourne movies. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But I'm really excited to watch United 93. And it has the same thing with The Flap and all the movies that came out recently. It has like a poster, original poster. I love that. I love these Universal releases. I think they're really, really cool. So there you have it, guys. Those are the five movies I got on Blu-ray for my birthday, which was yesterday. Um, and I got one other thing uh, before. I, I got a few things from my girlfriend that I want to talk about. Um, but I got one other thing that I want to show you guys that's important because I film videos on YouTube using a tripod. And I have a very shitty $20 Targus tripod um, that I'm using right now that I bought probably when I was... 17 and I've used it ever since it's terrible. It's crappy. It's got to go uh, So I totally need a new tripod and I got a brand new one. It's in the sealed case It's pretty long. It's a 72 inch tripod um, I'm forgetting the exact brand name uh, Right at the moment. I'm sorry about that if any of you want to know let me know and I'll look it up um, I can actually look it up on my phone real quick, but um, I got a brand new tripod. Yeah, I don't know the name of the brand um but this is really cool. It, um, it's a lot swifter for panning and tilting, in my opinion, than my current tripod. My current tripod, the head level part and even the, uh, the arm is a lot uh, smaller and makes for a lot more difficult movement. Uh, that's why I tend to not use that tripod at all except for filming videos because they're just static shots. Uh, but this tripod can go pretty pretty high. There's two 
uh, rungs on the bottom to extend the legs. These two bits right here, you can extend the legs uh, out that way. But this tripod goes up even more on the head level with this rotating knob. As you can see, I'm turning it, and the head component goes up even more. Um, there's two levelers, uh, one here on the base, uh, right there where my finger is, and there's another one for the actual tripod plate and head, like right here, um, which is pretty cool. My old tripod only has uh, one on the top. It does not have one on the base, which I think is really cool because you always want a level shot. Um, so I really needed this new one, and I'm really, really glad that I got this. Uh, thanks to my uh, parents for getting me this. I really needed it. Um, and I'm going to probably use YouTube videos. I didn't just get this for YouTube, though. I'm not going to shoot movies on this because I use more professional tripods that I rent out uh, from my school. Um, but I, I do want to use this for... Um, I have a, a, a small job. I have to film a casting audition process in July in the city, and I'm using like a DSLR, and I don't I don't have a, a good tripod on me, and I don't have access to a good one, like a professional one that I get at school, um, and I don't want to use my crappy one, my crappy twenty dollar one that I'm using right now. So I want to use a lot more professional one, one that can actually hold a DSLR. Because I'm filming this on a camcorder. This tripod that I have now is not sturdy enough for a DSLR. DSLR is way too big. Um, and while I talk about that, if I can find my phone, I just really quickly, I'll pull up the name of that tripod if any of you guys are interested. Uh, it was only $30, so I heard. Um, so I think that was an amazing deal um, for uh, 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 that tripod. 72 inches, it's really sturdy. Um, it's got like a five-star review on Amazon, I think, or four-star. Um, it's like really, really well known. Here, I got it up on Amazon right now. Let me look for the, uh, um, I think Butterfly Photo Professional 72 inch tripod for all Canon, Sony. It's got a three and a half star review. Okay, it's not perfect, but I've had no problems with it. I haven't used it yet, but I am going to be using it soon. Um, tripod for all Canon, Sony, Nikon, Samsung, Panasonic, Olympus, Kodak, Fuji, cameras and camcorders, and BP microfiber cleaning cloth. Yes, it also came with a little microfiber cleaning cloth um, that I will definitely use for my lenses whenever, uh, or even my glasses. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, awesome tripod. Uh, I'll leave a link if anybody wants it. So guys, I got two things from my girlfriend that really mean a lot to me, and I want to just quickly show them, because they do relate to movies. First of, first one of them is this really awesome like game, this like interactive, like, uh, game that you, it's, it, I'll basically sum it up, you watch a couple of short films on a DVD, you play with a few other people, and you have to pick like the best one of all of them, like the best picture, and then you send it in, you like submit your results online, and the filmmaker gets notified, and if you purchase this, proceeds go to the films, and the filmmakers that are on the DVD, you get four movies. So I got this. It's called Indie Flicks Presents Film Festival in a Box. So this is the comedies version. So there's four short uh, comedies on here. Um, if you open this up, you get a DVD and like the instructions of how to play and everything. And on the DVD, I got the four shorts I got are Section 44, Official Selection, Our Time is Up, and The Stain. The total runtime of all four is 34 minutes. You watch all of them and you give... Uh, you pick a winner, and you can play with people. You could even play more than once uh, with people who haven't played before. I think it's a really cool thing. My girlfriend knows me very well, and I want to thank her for that because um, I love short films. I love watching short films. I'm always an advocate of them. I love short, independent filmmakers, so thank you uh, to my girlfriend for that. And last but not least, she gave me one other small thing that I totally want to display, and it really means a lot to me from a personal standpoint. Uh, in our relationship. Um, this is a vlog, guys, so I also do get a little personal. Not too personal, but a little bit. Um, but I do want to show this other thing that she got. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, what does that mean to you, Mike? Like, why is that important at all? But here it is. She got me this Pop Funko uh, Good Dinosaur, uh, and it's Arlo from the movie The Good Dinosaur. Uh, look at how cute that guy is, first off. Look at that. Look at that. I can't wait to open him. I'm going to open him. I didn't want to open him until I shot this video. I'm going to open him right after this. Um, so I, the reason why this is so important to my girlfriend and I, and she got this for me specifically because the first 
movie that we saw together, and this was unofficially our first date, was The Good Dinosaur, actually, back in November. So she knows me very well, and the minute I opened this, I, like, I, like, I freaked out because I think that is, like, just the sweetest thing ever. And I didn't think this was, like, the greatest movie ever or anything, but I had a blast with her when we saw this, and I loved the characters of anything in this movie, and Arlo especially is the best. So I'm so glad I have this. I can't wait to put this up and display it. Uh, I probably want to put it by my Blu-ray shelf. I really want to keep this for a long time, um, and this really, truly meant a lot to me. It was the sweetest gift to me, and it was, like, the biggest surprise because I didn't know that she got me this. So... Thank you to my girlfriend so much. You're the best. Um, this means a lot to me. So that's everything I got for my birthday. That's my birthday Blu-ray haul slash my just birthday haul in general. Um, I had a great day. Um, it was, I am officially out of the teens. I'm 20 years old. There you go. Um, so awesome. I'm finally in the 20s. So, yeah, it was great. No, I really had fun. It, uh, I had a fun day with family. I also spent a lot of time, most the entire day almost, with my girlfriend. We had a blast, went to the beach. It was amazing. And I, was, I didn't upload anything on the second because I couldn't. I was so busy. I had fun. Uh, it was just an amazing day. And I thank everybody who made it awesome for me. Anyway, guys. Moving on, that was my birthday haul. What I wanted you to close out this random vlog before I ask you guys two more questions. Um, I want to just quick channel update, quick two, two minutes, not even. I, as I said in the beginning of the video, I am not going to be here um, for an entire week from July 5th to July 12th. I am going to be away. I always take a family vacation around this time. Sorry that I am not going to be around for a whole week. I'm glad that I'm taking this week off because there's no great new release movies coming out. Like there's only Secret Life of Pets, which I'll see, but not like I'm not going to like rush to go see that. And then Mike and Dave need wedding dates, which I think looks eh. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I'm not missing much. And I already saw like all the big movies I wanted to see before I leave. Like um, BFG, Neon Demon, I saw Swiss Army Man, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so, I'll be gone, I'm sorry. I will be shooting Random Vlog 15 while I'm away, though, because it's a different location. I want to spice it up and give you guys something different, you know what I mean? So, I'll be shooting that when I, re uh, away, and I'll upload that when I return. That'll probably be the first video I get up when I come back. And to close this out, I want to just give you guys a taste of what videos I'll be uploading when I come back. First off, my old movie review series will continue for the rest of July and August. We are in July already. There's only two more months left of summer. Would you believe that? Where the hell did this time go? I don't know. Um, but the first thing I'm going to start on when I return is the Bourne series. That's right. I have not seen any of the Bourne films. That's actually a lie. I did see Identity a long time ago, but I need to rewatch it and regather my thoughts. I'm going to be reviewing the Bourne Identity, the Bourne Supremacy, and the Bourne Ultimatum, all leading up to the release of Jason Bourne at the end of the month. No, I am not watching the Bourne Legacy because I hear it's not that great. So I'm just going to skip it because why not? Um, so stay tuned for that. I know I missed uh, two movies that came out this past weekend. Recently, I saw the BFG, reviewed that, and I also saw Swiss Army Man and reviewed that. I missed The Legend of Tarzan and The Purge election year. I'm going to try to see both of those at some point when I get back. Um, and yeah, I'll probably do maybe more Blu-ray reviews. I think there's a few Blu-rays I want to buy. Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition comes out in July, and I not, I've been hearing it's better than the theatrical version, which is good. So I would like to pick that up, buy it, and do a separate review of the Ultimate Edition, just giving you my thoughts on whether I think it's better or not. So stay tuned for that. Mid-July, that'll be right around when I come back. And I think that's about it for the most part. I don't think there's anything else big that I had to mention. Just old movie reviews will continue and regular movie reviews. When I get back, I'm sorry again that I will not be here um, um, for a week. But uh, I know you guys will miss me. I promise you I will get videos back as soon as I can. And thank you for always being patient. Now, to close out the video, two questions to ask you guys for my next random vlog. Now, beware. I am going to be away for a week, but I'm going to shoot the next random vlog while I'm away. So if, I've, if I was you, I would get out your questions to me 
Uh, I would answer, I would leave comments as soon as possible because I'm going to give shout outs to everybody who leaves a comment on this video. So if you're, if you're over a week late in leaving a comment, I'm not going to get to give you a shout out in the next random blog. So leave your comments ASAP. I have two questions for you guys for my next random blog. I will answer them on a beautiful beach, most likely. Um, that said, here are my two questions. My first question, because I got a really sweet gift that meant a lot to me because it was my first date with my current girlfriend that went to go see this movie, I want to ask you guys, what is the sweetest or most, what is the most thoughtful gift you ever received? It could be anything and it doesn't just have to relate to movies. It could be literally anything. I don't care what it is. I just want to hear what it is. I want to do something that takes us out of the movie genre for just, or the movie realm for just a little bit. So let me know what's the greatest, most thoughtful gift you've ever received from anybody, family member, sibling, wife, girlfriend, husband, um, boyfriend, whatever. Let me know down below and thank you. Uh, my second question to you guys is since we are past the halfway point of 2016, I would like you guys to tell me what your favorite movie of the year is so far. For me, that's an easy one. I have been going back and forth between these two movies. They're the only two movies I gave an A+, but right now, where I stand right now, my favorite movie of the year is also the most original movie of the year. And if you have seen my review, I just reviewed this movie. Swiss Army Man is currently my number one of 20. 16. I almost forgot the year. Um, so guys, let me know what your favorite movies of the year are so far. Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it. I'll leave the same questions I just uh, said right now down below in the comments and or I mean down below in the description and I'll leave an annotation somewhere. Answer those as soon as possible to get a shout out for random vlog 15, which is going to be a special one because I'm going to be on the beach. So, um, do that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. I got to pack. I got to do a lot of things before I leave. Um, I'm really behind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next video when I return. Bye, guys.